Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I want to show you how to use Trello. Now Trello is a great place to organize and prioritize your projects, whether you're working solo by yourself or if you're in a group, you can collaborating, assigning tasks and with a quick glance, you can see where everything is. So I'm going to show you how I use it in one way and but you can change it in many different ways and create lots of different boards and lists and create your teams. And I'm going to show you that today on Teachers Tech. So just to let you know, I'm using the free version of Trello here. There is an upgrade that you get a few more features too, but I find for myself, the free one works uh, very well. And I'm just gonna go get uh, logged in now just by clicking on login right up here. So when I get logged in, you see this home page to Trello and it kind of will tell me what's coming up next. Uh, I can see a card that I have, I'm supposed to be working on Trello and that's my next due date and it shows me the due date and it shows me different boards that I've recently viewed. But what I'm gonna go is up to this boards up here if you don't have a board uh, like the ones I do already that I'm going to show the example, you can create a new board right here or you can hit the plus right up top and you can see you can hit create board also. So you can go ahead and create one if you're following along uh, that way and find a board that I'm going to show you kind of as a demo here. And I'm going to go to May videos and post. So I have a board. This whole thing is a board, May videos and post. And inside this board, I've created lists of so video ideas, researching, recording, editing, posted. And how it works is I put cards under each list and I can drag these cards from one place to the next. So for me, I'm using this as a progression. And as I get through to the end, I can see which ones have completed all the way of all the different projects I'm working. And I can move these cards if I want to be organized up here. I also put a description at the top and I, you can see how I've labeled it with a color. And this would just tell me if I was working in a team, I could put a little description like this. And if people weren't quite sure what uh, the list was about, you can give a little bit more there too. But so, so I'm going to give a couple examples here and with uh, this today. So this is Adobe Spark and Adobe Spark. I just posted this this morning and you can see I put it in the posted that May 5th due date is there. If I click on this, it opens up and this is where I can write some uh, information about it. I had a due date but that I put on and I checked it when it was completed. The due date, all I have to do is click to add due dates to any of the cards. Now uh, with it, I just gave it a little description. I just said three part uh, Adobe uh, Spark and I wanna work with graphics video website. And I didn't write a lot of information about this because I had made a video on this a couple of years before and knew kind of what I wanted to do. But so yesterday it was over here when I was editing it. And I actually did both of them yesterday. It was started today, there, the recording, and then it went to editing, and then it went to posted. And I might decide to create a blog post out of it and put it on my website. So then maybe I move it over there, but that's not for all of it. So you can see it's a quick look to see all the different projects that you're working on where everything's at and you can add people to this. I'm working solo with this one, <clears throat> but if I had a, a group, I can invite people, what I'll show you how to do. But let's say I have uh, another one I'm gonna start, maybe I wanna do a, a Google Drive organization video. So I could start putting it into the research and I could click on it to open it. I could add a due date and I'll say, you know what, I want to have this ready for uh, May 22nd. And then uh, do I want any reminder one day before? Sure, I'll leave it as that. And I'll just close it. And you notice if I close it, it doesn't add it. But if you go back, I'll add the due date and hit save. And then I have this due date right here on it. And I can alter it if I need to. I can pick a different date and hit save again and it'll change the date. I could add a description here. So maybe I'm gonna talk about uh, labels and different things on it. 
and I can even add an attachment. And the attachment, when I click on it, you can see I could upload a file from the computer. I could go from OneDrive, I could go from Google Drive to Dropbox. Here's an example. You can see this one actually has an attachment to it because it has the little link there. If I open it, I have a file attached to this one from Google Drive. Now, when you're working with a team, this works really great because you could have people posting their ideas over here. Uh, you could have put a name of someone that's working on it. They could be attaching files. They're typing something out so people could look at it and you could see where they are at any time. Now, I'm using it as a transition. You could use these lists as anything you wanted to. So uh, you could just use them as lists and a bunch of cards. I like to kind of show that movement uh, through it as I'm getting through. Now, you notice a few other things here too. I have a background that I've uh, kind of added to this. Well, that's easy stuff to change too. So if I just go up to show menu and when I click on it, you'll see change background here. You click on there, you could go through lots of photos in it. You can do a search for anything that you want. Uh, and go ahead and pick it and it quickly updates the background on your board. You can also pick solid colors. Now it makes it nice when you do pick different colors or pictures because if I go over here, it shows up, you know, especially if colors, if you know there's a certain color that you're looking for and these are all the different boards, uh, you can see the picture comes up right here, but maybe colors work better to help quickly find what you're looking for, but you have some choices on it. Now I'm just going to go back out of this. I'll close this up. And in this, I haven't told you how to make more lists or cards yet, but all you have to do at any point, if you want to add another list, let's say I click on this and I wanted to be June videos starting here, maybe ones that are left over, I can hit add list and I have a brand new list. I can inside of it, add the cards that I want. So if I was just going to put an idea on it about a video editor, I could put the card in here and I can add card and I have this card. And remember, this can still drag anywhere I want. You can also color code these. So if I just click on this right here, that little marker, you can see how I can edit labels. I can change members. I can move it and I'll show you how to do something with a whole list to move it. Uh, but you can go ahead, edit the labels, add a color to it. I'll hit save and you can see it has that little bar and that's what I did with these up top. I just added a description and I can go back and change these at any time too. Now, uh, how do I move a certain list? If I go to, uh, let's say this one at the beginning here, uh, we'll go to my very beginning all the way over here, video ideas. Maybe I have some left and I wanted to go at the end of the month, I wanted to go to a different board. If I click on this, I could go add card, copy list, move list here. Now I could move list. Where do I want this to go to? I want this to go with June. So maybe I didn't get to all these and I hit move and I go back and I go to June videos and it's already started here. So then I could add all my other lists that I had in my May or maybe move them over if I wanted to keep certain parts of it and I just start them all over again. So it makes this great way to uh, just keep everything organized, especially in project management. Now, I just wanted to add a couple uh, notes about the card. So if I if I just click on this OneDrive card and open it up, I just wanted to point out a couple things. Uh, you can uh, get power ups and the power ups can add more functionality to the card. If you click on it, I believe with the uh, free version, you do get to add one of them and there's lots of different ones. I don't use them a lot, but I've seen other people use them and the other thing uh, that I just wanted to point out is a cover so a cover if I go ahead add a cover and this maybe you want something to uh, stand out a little bit more and I'll just pick nature for this one and I'm just gonna pick the first one I could remove it if I wanted to and what it does if I close this down it adds this image to it another cool feature inside the cards and I'm just gonna go back and click on this Trello one you can see right here, I've added something. This is an email. It says example Trello email. If I go down to share right here and this email for this card. So if I just copy this out as an email address and I go uh, to an email, let's say I'm going to compose one really quickly and I'm just going to paste that. This is the email address here and I'll just say test on it and I'll hit, I'll just write test and I'm going to hit send and I'll go back over 
to my Trello. And now I can see this number is moved to two. And if I open this up, the email I just sent is going into that card. So you could be sending a comment from an email to a specific card. So there's different ways to share it. So now I wanna show you how to be creating a team to be using this as a group. I have this under personal right now, so it's just me, but if I click on personal, I, you can see it's not part of any team. If I drop down, I could make this part of teachers tech team, uh, make the board visible to, uh, to the team, allow the team members to join this so I can check those. If I don't have a team, I can create a team just by clicking on this, or I can go right where I showed you at the beginning to create a board. You can create your team here. Here. There's the business team, but that one would be an upgrade and not in the free version. So when you create your team, you can invite people to this by clicking the invite here. You could put their email addresses and invite them that way. But if I go ahead and create a link, maybe you have a list already created of uh, our email group, you could copy this and just send this out to them. And then they'll be able to anyone with the link uh, can join as a board member. So that could be another way that you'd want to do it. So I just want Wanted to point out a couple last things in this tutorial here today uh, the star right here what this does if I go back to my home it puts it to the top right here so uh, if there's a board that you find more important you could uh, place it you can unstar it and then it will just go into recently viewed but if you want to pin it that's where you can do you can see all the different things that I was working on today inside uh, the activity here, uh, the different emails on it. So it keeps everything, uh, makes it easy to keep track of everything, add your team, and it even makes it more powerful. I hope you like this uh, introduction to Trello today. Uh, try out the free version like I'm doing. Use it solo to keep yourself organized. Use it in a classroom or with students uh, to get that project management flow. Remember, I do weekly tech tips. Thanks for watching this week. I'll see you next time on Teacher's Tech.